Yeah, I think this weekend it's a, it's a trip to crew and uh, I guess you'll be saying to your players that, um, you know, perform and you'll get the points. Yeah, if they, if they perform to the level they're capable of, they'll win. No, no question. Uh, this morning we, we talked about the levels of consistency that are needed to win games consistently. It's uh, young players win a game, get a pat on the back. Um, in many instances, don't know how to take it. Maybe get filled up of, um, of praise. And uh, sometimes when they get filled up with praise, they lose the hunger for the next bit of praise and they have to fail in order to get the hunger to succeed again. But uh, I think this group is learning that. I think they're starting to understand that you know, big careers are forged by players who get the praise for a good performance and then back that up by getting some more praise for another good performance. And it's how you build reputations. And as a team, it's getting a win and getting the praise and then going and giving the fans something else to enjoy. That's, uh, that's the key, that's what makes a successful team and makes a successful club. So I think we know what's expected um, of ourselves in terms of the mentality and the approach to the game. We, we underestimate nobody. We know that um, on their day they managed to beat uh, Sheffield United at home. On, the, on their day they got beaten in the 92nd minute by Gillingham at home who we were sitting where they're sitting. Um, they went to Burton and they got a nil-nil. So uh, they've got the potential to put in a performance like that. I've said all week. Uh, you'll get you'll get sides who will turn it on against the bigger clubs. You know you get you get individual players who perhaps are wanting to impress, uh, wanting to put their name in the frame. You know, have a look at me. You know, look at what I can do. And so, for all sorts of reasons, groups of players produce goods on the day that maybe they don't produce every week. So, as much as you know, we've got to develop that consistency. You've got to realise other sides have got an inconsistency, and that gives highs and that gives lows. And you've got to be ready just in case they have one of those days where they produce a high. You've got to be ready to be better than that. So we know the script. Uh, last couple of weeks you've had clear weeks in terms of the, the training schedule. How pleased have you been with the, the players' application in those training sessions? It's been, it's been good to see uh, the squad players able to get games. Um, we've been able to get 90 minutes into lads who desperately needed them. And it's very, very frustrating for those players when they're not playing first team football. They're sitting on the bench. They, can't, they go from game to game unable to put in performances that help them to get closer to their fitness. Somebody like Harry Buterman, I said to him the other week, you know, I've not even been watching you so far. Um, because when you've been playing minutes, I'm completely conscious that until you've got some minutes in your leg, in your legs, you're not going to be able to show me anything like the player that you are. So it might take you a game, it might take you two, it might take you five or six games before you're at a level where you're producing what you're capable of. So don't feel judged, go and enjoy the football in the meantime and sooner or later you'll be at a level where you can start competing for a shirt. And it's nice to see those boys getting their chance now to, to get themselves ready to you know, put that little bit of pressure on the boys who are in the team because uh, in the end the competition within the squad is, is important. So that's been a big, a big bonus. The boys who have trained um, have trained to good standards and to good levels. I think they, they've got the shirts on their back, they're part of a winning team. I think they're looking forward and they see they can be part of something special and they don't want to give their shirts up. Yeah, when we sat here last week we, we discussed Carl Vassell going out on loan and you wanted to see him scoring goals. Well, obviously he scored twice this week and, and, and that will give him confidence and also you, you can see the benefits of that loan move. Oh, uh, it's brilliant. I mean, he's had two, you know, two games now with the side right down the bottom, and uh, he's made a difference. He's helped them to the draw in the in the home game. He's he's helped them with the goals and, and his performance the other night to to get the victory. Uh, massive credit to him because it takes a big character to go in and help lift the club that's been struggling for results, and already he's started to make his mark. What Carl will, will know, like I've been saying about the boys here, it's fine making that mark. It's now about sustaining that mark, and it's it's having the hunger to not feel as though you've proved something, but to go on and, and prove the next bit of the journey. Uh, make sure that you know by the time January comes, it's 10 goals in 10 games or 12 goals in 10 games. Um, don't let it be you know a couple of goals that won a game up there. Make sure you sustain it, make sure you build on it, make sure you develop and improve and, and keep building that reputation. One player that you may potentially have back in the squad this week is Harry Anderson in terms of the fact that he's been doing a bit of training. He's had a really unlucky bit of, uh, bit of time on the sidelines with his hand injury and he's a player that, that can have an impact. Well, <laughs> Harry's a, a terrific young player who uh, has got so much promise. You know, I, I, I listen to Barry a lot about players and uh, he's got so much experience and he knows the lads within the squad here, he knows what they're capable of. And he talks so highly of Harry and his potential. I think uh, when you come in as a manager, young players react in one of several ways. But quite often they, they want to prove themselves to you so much that they start snatching at things and they lose their rhythm a little bit. And I think if I'm honest, Harry's probably struggled a little bit like this since I've been here. He's, um, his rhythm hasn't quite been in his game, his end product hasn't quite been there, but 
you can see that he's going to be a hell of a hell of a player. He's a, a wonderful young talent, and you know I went across to watch the game when when we beat MK Dons, and I was talking to Carl Robinson, and uh, he was he was talking about Harry in the highest possible terms. Um, he's seen more of him than I had, but uh, on the day Harry was excellent. Um, really did start to come out of himself. Scored a terrific goal, and uh, you could see why a Championship club in that instance was looking at him and uh, uh, eyeing him longingly. Suleimani so Koulibaly has been away this week with the Ivory Coast. He's back in the uh, back in the building and available for Saturday. He's, uh, he's an infectious character, is this Solly, isn't he, around the dressing room? Yeah, I, I want to learn that backflip that he's got. I'm uh, I'm, I'm doing all I can. You. I'm doing all I can to develop my gymnastic capabilities. I'm hoping that uh, on the final day of the season we're we're lifting a trophy around the ground and uh, I'm doing my backflip as I as I catch the medals. But uh, we'll see we'll see how that one goes. I'm I'm not so sure that uh, I'm not so sure I'll get there, but uh, it won't be for the one to try. <laughs> and uh, obviously, in, in terms of his ability on the pitch, he showed and demonstrated when he came on. Obviously, scoring with pretty much his first touch last weekend. That he can be that fox in the box. Well, Solly is a, a, a wonderful talent. He's. He's growing and improving uh, as the days go by. He's uh, this morning, you know, you, you can see him taking on board the messages you're giving him, wanting to learn, wanting to evolve, wanting to develop. Uh, he's a he's a maverick as a player. You never know what you're going to get from him because he's always willing to try something different, always pr willing to you know, produce a magic moment. But uh, he wants to be a team player as well. Um, he is a team player. And uh, he's a, a fantastic character to work with. I, I, I pulled him and Lee last week and said, look, boys, I've got a massive, massive problem, which is I haven't got enough shirts to give out. Um, the pair of you are both really special talents in my eyes. I've got to pick one of you and not the other at the moment. Um, if I was playing the pair of you, uh, I'd be excited. But, you know, I'm, Connor's been in great form and uh, that makes it really difficult for me. But uh, you know, know the pair of you, just how highly I value you, because you are both special talents and you're going to go on and have fantastic careers. So it's, um, it's a nice situation to be in, where you've got the likes of Solly, you've got Marcus sitting in reserve, you've got uh, Lee who's holding a shirt down and Connor who's holding a shirt down. and you know, We really have got uh, an array of attacking talent at the club. Gabby Zekwadi picked up a slight knock this, this week again, you'll be leaving it as, as late as possible with him because you just never know. No, G Gabby uh, is uh, Gabby is Gabby. He uh, he tends to defy the odds when uh, when a physio says he, he won't play, he says I will, and uh, and so you always keep an open mind. He hasn't trained this morning, but uh, we'll see how he settles down before we make any final decisions for the weekend. And just finally, obviously, the loan window does close next week. I, I guess you don't want to be bringing players in for the sake of bringing players in. If there's someone out there that you feel can strengthen the squad, I guess that's the remit you're looking at. Well, we're not we're not in the market to um, strengthen the squad. We've got to be mindful that come January, um, there's every chance that people are going to be knocking on our on our door. You you, you only need to see what's gone on with Delhi Alley to realise that some of our talent here is going to be given its chance. Uh, you, you know, when when a player like Delhi goes, you know, all the way. And, uh, and then people look back at League One and think, well, what else is down there? And you look at the Andersons, the Santoses, the Washingtons, the Madisons. You, you're not, you're not going to be, unfortunately, as, as much as I'd like to keep those boys here forever, you're not going to be able to stand in their way. And uh, there's too much talent there to, to think that people won't be looking. So we've always got to be ready with you know, the player that's going to replace any one of them as and when the moment, the moment comes. But uh, the focus has to be on those players evolving and developing. Now, if those players are evolving and developing, then there's no real possibility of us bringing players in because you're not going to go and get players um, at the level they're at right now, in on loan or, or on permanent deals. Um, so, you know, we've got, to be, we've got to be very careful to plan ahead and expect departures, make sure that at the time of the departure we can bring somebody in who is going to be able to go straight into the team as a direct replacement, be at that level. Um, you're not going to be able to bring people in as squad players who are who are capable of replacing those boys. So one of those, one of those difficult things. You know, going into the, the you know this time of year, that Christmas is coming and there's loads of games over Christmas, and you've got to make sure that you've got enough cover because you take an unexpected not first week of December, God forbid, and uh, you know suddenly you can look light. So you've got to get the balance right. But you don't want to bring a character in who wants to play, isn't going to play, and then becomes restless. So. You've really got to work carefully at this time of year. Make sure you don't overload yourself. We're, we're, we're happy with what we've got. I think everybody at the football club is looking at the squad thinking, so much talent, so much potential. Um, just keep them building, keep them growing. 
and uh, we just need to be mindful, as I say, that we're not leaving ourselves light over Christmas.